Activity 14 from the year 12, from Unit 3 for Mathematical Methods. Are we there yet? Setting up the program. As you can see, we've already defined the function. The next problem is to write a program to automate that process of estimating the distance travelled for any function. So we're going to go to the menu and locate the program module. So here we go in program. Now the first thing we need to do is to file new. Now you can easiest way of doing that come up here. Oh, sorry, tap new, and then we want to put in our file name. So we put in the text that's been used as our area estimate. So that's what we're actually doing with it. And tap OK, and it comes up with what we call the program editor. Now, now we need to enter the code, and it will be easier and while you can just type things in it's often easier to use the menus for the commands so execute that first one clear text now I want 6 and just store symbol we have to come back to here and back to there store n so we're just repeating the same calculation we've done earlier um, and 0 is A, so N is the number of intervals. Um, A, whoops, let's go back there. A. <coughs> and you can sort of copy some of these things across. Um, so I might just highlight that one, edit, copy. So I don't have to switch around between so much. And we want one. We want to paste it to be. I don't know if it's any quicker or not. Um, execute. We want a stored as um, t. Execute another line. B take A. So we're just setting up the program. B take A um, divided by the number of intervals we want. So that's the number of intervals, and we want to store that. As the we'll call that W for the width of the interval. Um, and zero going to store as area. So it's obviously quicker to type in single letters, but in programming we can use larger names. So the next part here is now to set up some so that's some initialization. That's just setting up some commands and some some constants to give a starter, which means we can change them much easier to change them later on. This command is the um, control loop. So in control, we're going to do a four. So we're going to do four, and we start with our initial value one. Again, we're going to say that's um, use the variable i. Sometimes that's just a leftover from other things. We go back to our control four. Two, and we find it's already got some spaces set up nicely for us. <coughs> and so it's setting up the loop. It's just going to go through the loop. I is going to take values from one progressively up to n. You can also include a step in it. So, so we're going to have our width times bracket the initial velocity v of the current value of t. plus v of the next value of t, which would be t, the, sorry, okay, the velocity at the end of the interval. And we want to divide that by 2, so make it the average velocity. And then we want to multiply by the... Sorry, now we've done all that. 
that should give us our estimate. So now we want to save it again. Edit, paste. Store that as, I'll call it Delta A. So obviously it's just a name. that one up. Delta A. Okay. Execute that. And now area um, plus Delta A. You can of course copy. And again I want to store that as the area. So what I'm doing is I'm adding on the extra bit to the initial. So initially the area is zero. The first time around we'll ca having calculated our area estimate for the first part. We'll add that on. IO output we want to print the area so we can see what we're actually going to get here. The area and now we have to increase increment our value of t plus W and we want to store that as our new value of T and now that's the end of the loop control 4 we do our next and that's our program <coughs> it's very easy to make mistakes so we're now going to try saving that that looks good so we're backing on the program Take this um, back here run the program and now we can and it's done and these values are the same ones that we've got um, using the spreadsheet and by hand calculations. Now, if we want to go back and close that window, go back into here, we can then change any of these parameters. And we have now got our initial version of the program um, working effectively. One more thing, you can actually run the program from within main. So we just type in our command. In this case here, that's all we need. Execute. And there we go. It comes up in the program, um, the output window. We've got those particular values. And close that down if I want to do that. There we go.